You're cooking mit Hans. Welcome back to Cooking with Hans. Today's German word for the day is Das Essen. That means food. And the food that we are going to be discussing today is tapas. Tapas is a Spanish word which has been around since the 19th century. One story about how it got started was by a, a king who was ill, ate small plates of food with wine. Another was a king was at a tavern and they brought him drink with a bit of food on in a plate right on top of his drink to help keep the falling material out. But King Ferdinand III, I believe, uh, may actually made it a law so that soldiers who were going out getting drunk, that tapas would be served with every drink so that uh, food in the belly would help keep the alcohol from taking too big of a hit, you might say. So we're going to be using mozzarella, tomato, uh, salami. This is dried salami. And chopped basil. Along with Balsamic vinegar. All right. First up is the salami. Salami is injected into a after it's been uh, the meat's been ground up, seasoned, salted with quite a bit of salt. They would. Literally take a sharp pin and poke it throughout the casing and then hang it up to in a cool area, uh, like a refrigerator set for a particular uh, temperature, cellars, in colder regions, caves, where the temperature never deviates it's always constant as you can see here is the casing you don't want to eat that they would coat the casing with a solution that would help prevent foreign bacteria from spoiling the food to also help drying out the sausage. So let's cut this a little better. You will want to remove the casing completely because when it, after you open it, it's going to dry more. So it's going to be stuck to the meat. There. And we just slice. 
just like this. Nice thin meats. Tapas is served around the world now. There's practically hardly any place. The translation for tapas is nibble food. Basically, you're walking, if you're bar hopping, you'll basically be going to bar to bar, ordering small plates of food, and dining that way. Okay, after you got it sliced, you take a plate, not a very big plate, average size plate, medium, small, either kind. But this salami, there's something you, you need to know. Not all meat is ground. Some uh, salamis to sausages, other dried uh, type of meats, that they're good in casings. This one here, as you can see, has chunks of fat in it. This fat shows that this wasn't grown. It was chopped and diced or minced with a knife. Okay. So basically, You just arrange your meats like so. In a nice pattern. You can have a, like a sauce right in the middle, the dip. Maybe a mustard. The sauce could be anything. From a holiday to a barbecue, or in this case, a nice little dish of Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. Which is very good. This is one type of dish that uh, you can enjoy at any sporting events, parties, whatever. Mm. Dijon always goes good. Wish I had some great poupon, mm -hmm. but of course. But not all dishes that are in tapas has to be a meat dish. They can also be fruit or vegetables. In this case, both, because. Tomatoes are not just a fruit, they're also a vegetable. And we're going to be combining it with mozzarella. So when you're cutting up your tomatoes, you don't need to cut them very thick. Cut them thin, but not too thin. Something about like that. Now that we have our tomatoes all nice and sliced, as well as the mozzarella, you can actually get mozzarella that is pre-sliced for this type of dish. So what we do is, we just grab a plate, like so, alternate the tomatoes along with the size of your uh, mozzarella. Put it like that. Boom. <laughs> Be careful not to let it get away from you, because in those days, <laughs> let's just say 
tossing food into a trash can could be very problematic for anyone since garbage inspectors were ex looking for wasted food during that time. So, just like the meat, you can put it in a nice circular mat, uh, uh, pattern. Boom. One more tomato and keep it nice and uniform. Oops, better take care of this. Always keep your hands washed when preparing food. Because if you don't, you don't want to get raw meat juices on anything of any other type of food that you are preparing. Drizzle it like that. And there you have it. These are just simple dishes. A lot of simple dishes were made during the 1940, at around the beginning of the war, of the food rationing to the end. Actually, several years after the war. Two years, to be exact. This here, let's try this. This is a... Uh, the tomato and mozzarella with the basil and the balsamic. Mm. That is so good. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I made two dishes in a short amount of time. Which is easy. This is something you can even show your kids how to make when they want to help in the kitchen. But make sure you teach them how to properly handle the tools and the food. So please like and subscribe to Cooking with Hans. For and don't forget to hit that bell icon for future notification of upcoming videos. So, I'll be the same.